God's kingdom. Are we live? Are we live? Wow. Yo. It's just been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute, yo. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Make sure you hit that like button. It's Nest Kingdom. We had to come back. We had to come back for this special occasion. The Jacques Vaughn um, condolences. We are going to put the condolences in. Make sure you hit that like button. Let me shout out the chat. Uh, Samir was good. JR Karen was good. Conch, Juice Kid. Juice Kid's back. Uh, Nets Legend was good. Uh, Nafisi's daughter, hey, Mike Zary was good. Yeah, y'all, this is going to be a very, very interesting stream. I'm here with my guys, Saint Chubbs and Rage. Um, the crew. The, the news today. The news dropped today that Jacques Vaughn is no longer our head coach. Um, before we give our takes, I want to um, play this Shams clip because Shams said a lot of interesting. Uh, this is why I like Shams. Over Woj because Shams tells the T. He be saying the players T. He knows like the thing. Woj just be speaking from the GM manager's perspective, but Sean be I mean uh, Shams be saying the T. Like what's going on? What players are saying? So I want to play this Shams clip of what he said about Jacques Vaughn getting fired. Make sure you guys hit that like button also. Fix it. You know what didn't need to be fixed though? The Steph Sabrina three point con. For me, that was actually very compelling television. Mm -hmm. uh, I was on the edge of my seat. Too bad it was only like seven minutes long, but. Steph did hit his final four shots, got 29 points, defeating Sabrina Ionescu by three. She hit her first seven, which is what made it just like must watch. Um, she also had 26 points, which PS tied the highest score by any NBA player in the actual three point shootout. Did you love it? Loved it. This yeah. is probably my favorite part of the. Wait, did I blow the right clip? Hold on. <laughs> that might be the wrong clip. No, that might be the wrong <laughs> That clip is hella long. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold we on, haven't on. done this in a while, folks. Bear with us. <laughs> Yeah, bear with it. It's a technical <laughs> difficulty. But shout out Sabrina, though. Shout out Sabrina. Shout out Sabrina, though. Shout out Sabrina. Hold on. That was, that was let me look at that clip again. Can I, can I take my victory lap? Can can I? Yeah, you can. I, I just wanted to say I was praying the whole time. That was the last thing I said before, after that dismal 50-point thing that y'all can do what you want for the next eight days, but I'm praying for Jock Vaughn's firing. And uh, Lord, did they answer my prayers. Nah, you you definitely called it. You were like, "Yo, they're gonna get fired." Da, 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 da. Well, you said Vaughn was gonna get fired right before the uh, the, yeah. the trade deadline. And I bet a hundred bucks too. Uh, I won that. I just, dude, that's their only play. Like, yeah. you, if they're gonna try and save face for the season, this was the only play. Yeah. Uh, okay, hold on. I got the clip now. My bad. <laughs> I play, I played this stuff. You know what? I'm just gonna play it on the mic. So hold on. I'm saying I have it on the. Uh, you haven't? I have. If you want me to uh, screen share it. Yeah, to see if the volume works. No, I'll, I'll play a little bit. Well, my, it's actually, I posted it on my page. That's what's crazy. Yeah, you get rid of your... Oh, yeah, yeah. We can hear it. They're 11th right now. They're two and a half games back of being in a play-in. Is there a shot? I mean, there's a... Okay. Because there's the teams above them. Atlanta, Chicago, Toronto's kind of right there in the mix. No, yeah, I I mean, Atlanta gets in. Chicago I mean, gets in. I think there's a shot, though. I think they have enough talent here to win games. That's the problem. They're kind of in that gray area where they're not really tanking and rebuilding. Well, right. You just you just re you just reset the, the, the table. Yeah, right? now you, get rid of your, you get rid of your coach, so now your players are unsure what the direction of the organization is going to be at this point, and you create some confusion. So I, I think this this puts them in a tailspin. Yeah, who do they bring in? Do they just keep someone that's on the staff now? Do they hire someone immediately? Do it's a tough situation. Yeah, what's the again, long play there? What is the long play? You don't know. Do you just try and shut down like your guys for the rest of the season, the rest of the next 30 games, and kind of try and get the highest possible draft pick? Who knows? But it's a sticky situation. Jacques Vaughn, again, at least he's getting his money. I was going to say, I'm always happy when someone gets paid. <laughs> That's the crazy part. He said, at least he's getting his money. I'm at least crying. He's getting his money. He's getting his money. Um, yeah, this is the one I wanted right here. Happening. Uh, nothing like a firing on a. The All Star break to the Celtics. We know this team has, has been pretty dreadful ever since really the new year. They just have not been able to win games on a consistent level. 
And yes, I think the, the play right before the All-Star break contributed, but multiple players, including Spencer Dinwiddie, who has now departed, Mikhail Bridges, already there, they were pretty vocal behind the scenes for months now about how the offense was running. They felt like a lot of what, what Jock Vaughn was running was being run improperly uh, without structure. Jock Vaughn came into, this, into the year and said, we're going to run a free-for-all offense. And the team, from what I gather, has been pretty bonded on the fact that, you know, developing a hierarchy was important. And when they went into the, the, the training camp, a lot of their offense was built around Ben Simmons and him playing at the one and him playing uh, at, at a high level for them. But throughout the season, he has been unavailable. Um, and so this is now the third coach Sean under Sean Marks. Uh, yeah, that that's the key part that I wanted to hear. The he said that <laughs> Coach Vaughn designed the offense for Ben Simmons, and then when we saw McHill in that interview, and I think this is what the what was one of the keys to getting Vaughn fired when he was saying he was comparing a lot of like, oh, when Ben is here, everything's different, and then when Ben is not on the on the um not playing tonight, we have no offense. McHill basically just said that in the interview, and then I'm like, yo. <laughs> So you're telling me our offense, our offense is, has been shitty this year. It's been shitty. So let's keep it a buck. Like, you can't design an offense for when Ben is in. I know the team, okay, Sean Mark designed a team around Ben, but you can't design an offense just for when Ben is in and you don't have nothing to do when Ben is out. That's, you that's can't do that as a coach. You can't live by bugging? the sword, die by the sword style offense. It doesn't. Yeah. That's true. I'm like, I'm like, am I bugging? Like, you can't, you can't coach like that. You can't coach like that. Somebody has a back problem that's unpredictable. You don't do that. Yeah, that's, just, that's literally setting a team up for failure. Yeah, uh, let me read some comments. Shout out to Ramel Carter. Uh, what's good, bro? JR said JV was a clueless and horrible coach. Nets legend JV was my uncle. Uh, Henry <laughs> Hall said Sean Marks needs to be next. Con said, So, who are y'all hiring? Uh, JR said, In the offseason, McKill, Cam J, and DFS needs to be traded. Then we can start a full rebuild. Shout out to Trajan Smith. I'm a Warriors fan. I feel bad for you guys being Nets fans. Y'all should have at least one championship. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Um, thank you for uh, feeling for our depressions and our, our sadness as Nets fan. Uh, Rashad said it's sad, bro. He would have won a ring with Nash's crew, but deserved to be fired, especially the way he handled Cam Thomas. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, let me go around. Like, what was your guys' like initial um, reaction to Vaughn getting, like, the can? Were y'all, like, hyped? Or were y'all, like, what's next? Were y'all, like, okay? So did y'all care? <laughs> like, what did y'all? What was your reaction? Hey, don't forget to send. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna. I won't get my take, but don't forget to send Jay the link, and I'll. I'll just. I'll let them go first. Oh yeah, um, we're gonna get Jay. We're gonna get Jay in here. Jay's gonna get in here. Yeah. Uh, whoever wanna go first, Ray, Chubbs, Chubbs, you got it, bro. Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna hold you. When I first read the news, the initial excitement was there. For example, I woke up. I saw Saints did a space say JV is fired. I immediately put on Marvin Sapp never would have made it because I said, I I don't often play gospel. That This was a day to play gospel. After that initial excitement, now it's kind of. <laughs> wait, I could imagine you playing the Kirk wait, Franklin. Wait, wait. Did you play the <laughs> I play for, like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not trying to play the song. So we you don't play the Kirk Franklin like. Played I played that Kirk Marvin Franklin. Sapp never would have made, made it. Never would have made it. Which <laughs> hand was in the air? Which hand was in the air? Left or right? <laughs> Bro, I alternate. I look. I just put two hands up. <laughs> put two hands up. It's a good day. It's a good day to be religious and faithful because Jesus Christ. Oh my God. But yeah. now it's kind of that limbo of are we going to take the right approach this time to getting a coach? Or are we just gonna be in lockstep with the next interim and just give him a, a contract like we did Vaughn? Because yeah. at some point you gotta learn from your mistakes and you gotta do a genuine uh a genuine uh procedure to get a new coach. Last season. Our last offseason, there were so many coaching candidates you could have gone after. Monty Williams, I believe. Uh, did, did Frank, was Frank Vogel the free agent that last season? Yeah. Uh, Frank, there were so many coaches. Ime, Frank. Nick Nurse. Nick Nurse even Nick Mike Nurse. Cool. Dan Tony, A whole bunch of guys. Yeah, there was a lot of guys you could have went after. And yeah. who's to say there are more people you can go after? Um, so, look, just maybe pick an interim. Don't be in lockstep with them. And, uh... Do a do a proper procedure. That's all I that's all I got. Just do a proper procedure for the next head coach. So 
I was kind of like, I was, it was just kind of like, you know, I just kind of found out the news like, like not even an hour ago because yeah. I've been asleep, but I've also like, I've also been up and I, for some reason I just didn't see anything. I wasn't really checking my phone, but like Chubb said, the initial excitement like hit. It was it was crazy. Like I I, I couldn't even believe it because obviously not, I mean we were hope we we can only hope so much. But it's like you know you never you never know with this team. But it was like thank God finally this guy sucks. We've been saying that ever since the beginning. Like before we even had to see anything, we were like we weren't like we weren't like overly upset, but we were like you know why so early? We were like it's like you know it's like asking the girl you've known for three days to marry you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you just don't do that. Yeah. And it was so early, and we were like, you know, you at least wait till the off season to see what's up. Because it was like, I, I, there's no way you go into that off season and you're like, you know what? We're going to hire this guy after getting swept. Things didn't look good. I, I don't I don't know how you would do that, and there were so many candidates. Yeah. But now it's like, you know, the excitement hit, and we're like, finally, we're off of this guy. Get, get you something to you know, be excited about as a Nets fan because we don't have much to be excited for. We're below average and we don't have, you know, we still have to, we're still fighting for a play-in spot. Yeah. But it's, it now we're just on the, we're now we're wondering what's next. Like, like Sham said, and we obviously all know every single coach that's been under Sean Marks has been fired and mm. we're paying all of them. Yeah. Still, we don't have, you, I don't care who you have. It doesn't matter. But there's you can't you can't have your full on head coach unless we like win a playoff series unless we, if we win a playoff series then you can yeah, then you can give that guy an extension, um, yeah. but because because that's absolutely unrealistic. But other than that, you should see what's up, evaluate, and make he, your decision. He did off. nothing. He did nothing to deserve a what was it a four year extension twenty twenty seven. This man's gonna be getting paid till twenty. Like, he did nothing to deserve. And then, and to be fair, we did give him a clean slate. I remember at the beginning of the year, all of us, we did a stream, and we were like, okay, we're gonna give Vaughn a clean slate. Last year was kind of hectic. We had the eighteen and two run. Katie and Kyrie got traded. It was crazy. But now we're gonna we're gonna um give him the clean slate. He has he picked his coaches. He picked everything out, and we're gonna see what happens now. And he failed. <laughs> he failed big time. We've been um, saying we've been saying this the whole time. Every yeah. single one of us has been like we all kind of thought that it was a little a little you know, you we weren't even doing our due diligence at all. Yeah. And, and that's like your that that's the bare minimum as a GM is to do your due diligence. Like at least like for for example, it's not even like in terms of like, you know, in terms of coaching either, but it was like the the GM, the the Warriors reached out to the Lakers to try and just see what's up with LeBron. That's just doing your due diligence. Yeah. That's just checking in. That's all you got to do. You get you should have at least weighed out your options in the <clears throat> offseason because once Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving wanted out, that should have been that should have really told you, let's just see how everything goes. Just take a step back. When something like that happens, you just got to you just got to chill. You just got to see what's up. As like a GM, like how do you how do you run a business and you hire guys you hire you hire head coaches without doing interviews. That's not how you run a business. Like that's not how you like. You're supposed to see like Rage was saying, the candidates that were on the market before we hired, we gave Jacques Vaughn the extension. Were better coaches than he was. We've you know? never we've never seen. I I don't remember seeing a coaching market like this in this yeah. off in an off season. I'm pretty sure the Nets so did an interview things. interview for for Steve well, Nash. It, Steve Nash wasn't interviewed. We just hired him because Sean Marks that was Sean Marks' best. Team. Yeah, that that. Too, but right? AJ, you're saying like you guys are saying it like we've known it, right? Like yeah. we saw how Nash got hired. We've seen how JV got hired, yeah. right? Like if there's always some like friend connection oh yeah. you're part of the the squad you're a yeah it just it never i've never felt like like in some teams you can look at a clear separation between coaching and gm and it works right i've always felt like it just like it was all too similar like too many hands involved in trying to make something work and not like letting people do their job now that is one aspect of it i will give a little leeway to the coaches, even though I don't want them is yeah. God. Imagine having to coach under Sean Marks like that. That can't be fun. Yeah. I'm not saying that's why they suck, but I'm just saying like, let's throw that out there. Imagine being a coach under Jock Vaughn. I mean, under uh, Sean, that, that's rough. Yeah. 
has to say something to Joe Sy, and obviously it says something to all of us that every single head coach that's been under Sean Sean Marks has been fired, and we're paying all of them. We're still paying Kenny Atkinson. Yeah. So uh, that that should really say something. We're still paying Kenny. We might be. I gotta look at this. Uh, I, 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 I know Steve is on the books. Steve is still on the books. For, might, for the be. end Somewhere. of this year, though, he's I believe Steve is off the books at the end of this year. Yeah, so Steve it's really like yeah. either way you cut it, it's not that bad and it does happen, but it's still not a good thing on your resume. Yeah. It it really isn't. Like of all the opportunities and the caliber of players that you have had the last five seasons. To say that Sean Mark, like that, that that's his picks, Steve Nash and JV, oof, that's nasty. Yeah. Let me uh, read some comments real quick. Shout out to Rashad. He said Nash is a bottom five coach in the last 25 seasons in the NBA. Uh, Daniel, Daniel said we should have stayed away from Harden. Dang it. Uh, Rashad, we had an 18 and two run. Then Katie and Curry got traded. <laughs> yeah. That, that's basically our history right there. For now, it's Kevin Ali or Budenholzer, maybe last year's Long Island Nets coach. Um, and then Ramon said Sean Mark should just be a draft scout. I agree. Maybe he should just be a scout. <laughs> um, yeah, going back to what um, Saint was saying about like Sean now, it's like the news got me hyped, but it still left me in a dark place as a Nets fan because I looked at the standings and I was talking to Rage about this. We're only two games away. I think two or three games out of the uh, 10th spot, I believe. The Hawks have the 10th. Um, so does this firing, can it make us better as a team? Like what happens if, let's say, we go into this week and there's a four or five game winning streak and we shoot up the standings a little bit, get into that eighth, ninth. Does that make you guys feel any better as an S fan? or as, like, coach getting fired, or does it just leave you in a dark place because you're waiting for the playoffs to get sw- – <laughs> to either get out in the play-in or get swept uh, in the first round? Like, you know, it's like – that's what I'm trying to figure out as a fan. How do you feel – let me know in the chat how you guys feel about, like, does this make our team – do you think this is going to push us to the playoffs, or do you think it's just going to keep us right where we are? We still got to wait and see. Mm-hmm. Everything everything with, you know, being a Nets fan is just waiting to see what's what's up. And that's all you really can do right now. But I think, like, although even if we go into the playoffs and get swept again, which is, you know, which would be three years in a row now, um, I think that's still a win, though. If you if you can get into the playoffs and actually win your play-in games, that should say that that's, that should say something a little bit. At least from, I think, in this spot that we are in now, I think you should view getting into the playoffs as a win for sure. After yeah. everything that we've seen transpire, after we've seen how the team has looked this year, the inconsistencies of, you know, it, we've seen injuries, obviously, and we've had, you know, bad coaching. We didn't have anything. We didn't do much after the trade deadline. Uh, we just kind of did the bare minimum. So it's like if you get to the playoffs, that's a win for sure. And like I said, if you win a playoff series, maybe I'm jump, maybe I'm jumping the gun. But if you if you win a playoff series, being yeah. that low of a seed, that should really then maybe you really do have to hire that coach. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's crazy. To say. But it might, hey, you never know. there's no way you get swept <laughs> with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, and this and whoever we have wins. Then with a playoff series with Mikael, CJ, and Cam Thomas. Yeah, no way, no way. <laughs> yeah. I guess we would have to play a good ass team. We would have to play either Boston or Milwaukee. Who's number one and two? You have to play either Boston Milwaukee. or Milwaukee. No okay, way, but if like... you if you beat, it's, it's not gonna happen. Obviously, yeah. that's why I'm. But that's why I'm saying, okay. New Shams just put out Kevin Ali has emerged as the leader to be the Brooklyn Nets interim head coach. Oh, okay, there it is. He's emerged there's as Kevin the Ali. leader. I don't know if it's official. Is it official? Uh, no. It, we've remember what remember what we saw with Emi Udoka that he was emerging as a top head coach candidate and that he was the leader. Oh, you're right. Remember, you're right. don't bank on it. <laughs> well, okay, to be fair, Kev, I don't think Kevin Ali has any like. That is fair. Yeah, it's Kevin fair. Kevin Alley's not a freaky frog like yeah. you know. Okay. And then and then Wa- and then Woj just said the same thing. So it looks like it's him. Oh yeah. I'm saying we could have had you Doka, but he decided to be a freaky frog. So like, like I can't <laughs> well, I can't of say course he out of our control. I can't say you know out of our thing, control. Bro, the thing was we wouldn't have been able to like the thing was is that we wouldn't have been able to get him anyway because if he wasn't in that scandal, then he would have never been, you know, fired. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Mm-mm. Wait, so Kevin. Yeah, it's, it's looking like Kevin Ollie, man. I don't know. Well, like I said, I'm going to wait because Rage is right. We've seen this before as I merge as the leader, da 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 da. But 
<laughs> and then and obviously, days like, and obviously it's a different situation, like Chubb yeah. said, but it's like, you know, it, we're Nets fans. You can't bank on something like that. You can't know, bank on anything. They could just quickly change their mind and hire some random guy we've yeah. never heard of before, like some G League coach or something like that. Sean Marks' guy. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure, like, Mikhail and um, the team like Kevin Ollie. Like, I've heard, like, they've had... Like if they if Sean called Mikhail today was like, yo, who, what are you thinking about interim? I think Mikhail would vote Kevin Ali and like most of the guys would vote Kevin Ali. So mm-hmm. if he does listen to Mikhail and them, it would be Kevin Ali. Um yeah, hit that like button. Um if you're joining us right now. Oh, we'll did react- you send Jay the link? Did you send Jay the link? Oh yeah. Oh, Jay's in there? Oh no, no, wait. It says um his device is not connected. Connect your device, Jay. Yeah. Yo, Frank, I'm telling you, he's a freaky frog, bro. Can you, like, can you drop I, the link I, to Jado saying if you can? Frog. I can't. I don't know if I can do it from my phone. And remember, I got to get the I, I can, but do I just, should I just DM it to him on Twitter? Hold on. Let me try, yeah. let me try to do it. All right, I'll do it right now. I got you, I'll, to, I'll, be, I'll DM it to him as well if you can. All right. We got everybody, so. Yeah. If yeah. You're listening, uh, oh, and shout out to Pete, by the way. Pete and I recently, I uh, went on Pete's pod. Uh and YouTube, um, the Nets fan, you know, shout out. Like, I mean, really, if you go listen to that, it was kind of like <clears throat> a precursor to like what was about to happen. And shout out to Leaf, yeah. Leaf as well. What um, up, Leaf? What up, Pete? What up? Uh, shout out, Pete. I just discovered that's a that's but a fire yeah, no, but it, but we, dude, I mean, it's like we pretty much said, like, like, dude, what other play do they have? And it's like you've everything that you guys have been talking about, it's been like everything has been there, all the signs have been there. And and now what do we do? I think that's why, like, we AJ and I, we were all talking about beforehand. It was like, I'm excited, but I'm nervous as hell at the same time. Yeah. Like, it needed to happen, but I got to see what's next before I get excited, before I start saying, hey, we're on our way. We might actually get out of this. Like, I got to see what the next move or two is. Yeah. from Sean Marks. Like, obviously, it's nice at first, but it's like, you know, what once everything, and it's kind of like with anything when it's like when you trade, when we trade for anybody, like when we trade for Harden, when we trade for, when we traded for, uh, you know, when we traded, when we traded for Ben, when we, you know, when we made all these moves or just letting, uh, letting go of people in general, it, it might be like, you know, you might get that initial wave of excitement because it's just something new and you just kind of, you know, it, it just kind of, it just kind of shocked you. But then once everything starts to hit and time goes and, you know, you get, you know, five minutes to think, then you're like, damn, what happens next? Yeah. Um, let me respond to this comment. What do you mean we can't judge marks? Like 2029. So, so <laughs> we're supposed to wait till 2029 to judge Sean Marks. What about the past eight years he's been here? I'm going to be damn near graduated from college. I'm still in high school. Oh, my God. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. This has to be said. At some point, you do have to hold Sean Marks accountable. Yeah. You, can't just, you, can't, yeah. you can't just be like, well, what else, what, what else could he have done? What else could he have done? There are so many other franchises that should have blown it up right along with us, but yet they stuck with their stars, and it managed to pan out. Yeah. We, how can we not judge Sean Marks? This man just gave Jock Vaughn a four-year extension one year ago today. One year ago today, he gave him a four-year extension, and now he fired him next to, uh, in one year. So you we give this man a the rest of this year and two him. more years on top of that. I don't understand. How does that, how does that make we sense? We fired as a everybody. Yeah. Every we, every coach we've had, we fired. Yeah. How do you every explain single this? coach? Purple Dynasty. How do you explain the Steve Nash? How do you explain the uh, the trade for Ben Simmons? How do you how do you how is Steve Nash your coach? Yeah. When you have kept, how is Steve Nash, a first year head coach, going to coach a championship team in his first year? That mm-hmm. doesn't even make sense. I don't care if it's Steve Nash. Yeah. I don't care who it is. It shouldn't. We but literally that was, that, was, the that was completely you completely messed up. And then you thought with Jack Vaughn that it would work out instantly, but it, I don't understand. Like every yeah. single move this dude has made has like hasn't panned out. Almost every single one. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm ready to move on from Sean Marks, man. It's like, come on, bro. It's too, it, how yeah, much I, longer and, can he keep getting away with this? Sean Marks, yes. Letting go of Sean Marks is a complete reset button because the thing yeah. is, is like you get rid of Sean Marks and you get someone else who has a different idea or in, in general just has different ideas and, you know, wants to do different things. Yeah, that's who knows what someone else I've, wants to do with this team. I've I, seen I, coaches I, fired for less. I've seen coach of the years fired for less. I've seen GMs. Fired for less. I've watched Brad Stevens 
be, turn into a GM in what? What is this? Like his second, third year as a GM, and now this man. You see how this man flipped the Boston Celtics? And yeah, he's right he he uh, arguably good, the good. best roster in the. Let's, NBA. let's go around the league. Let's go around the league. <laughs> yeah. Look at the Clippers. Look how many failures they've had. They still managed to push through. Now they got Russell Westbrook and James Harden on their team, and they look fucking awesome. Let's look at the Suns. Remember when Chris Paul finally looked his age and they were like, yo, the Suns might be done? They traded away Aiden and Chris Paul, got Kevin Durant, and got Bradley Beal. Let's keep let's keep going around. League. Let's look at the Lakers. After they won the championship, they decided to do a similar move to us and get Russell Westbrook, forming a quote unquote big three. Ended up blowing up in their faces. They didn't blow it up. Traded LeBron and traded AD. No, they decided to trade for players that fitted them more adequately, and they damn near went to a Western Conference Finals. And in the season next season, won an in season tournament. Mm. I'm tired of hearing. I'm tired of hearing what else was Sean supposed to do. I'm tired of all of that because. Even after the COVID season, the lockdown was gone, and we would have had Katie and Kyrie here, and you still could have built something around them. You mean to tell me if you traded James Harden, you couldn't trade us for anything better? Mm, see, like, come on, size. <laughs> you didn't have you, did, you could have okay. said Fuck James Harden and trade him to any other place. Look at every other team that were in a similar situation as we are, where they're in a situation where they had no else to go, and it was more likely they could have blown it up. Yeah. Look where they are and look where we at. Matter of fact, let's look at the Bucks. Granted, Doc Rivers is not the best decision, but they realized a rookie head coach might not be the best decision for a championship team. Yeah. At, at some point, you don't have to say he did nothing good for our franchise. I'm not going that far. Yeah. But at some point, accountability needs to you be. Gotta up. move on, bro. Like you gotta I don't think any GM in the NBA has had this long of a leash of just terrible things that happen to this franchise and just to keep your job. Like the normal <laughs> Yo, GM in the it should have said something to Joe Sai when Kevin yeah. Durant was like, These guys better be out. Yeah. Or I'm leaving. I, yeah, I don't, I don't see any other NBA GM that's had this long of a leash of s severely terrible things that's happened to your franchise, mm -hmm. um, and then you just keep getting, you just keep holding your job. Like, I've AD never seen that. said he wanted Steve Nash gone. Guess what? Yeah, that was the coach before Jock Vaughn. Yeah. <laughs> we fired someone I, else to try and appease him, and we fired him anyways. Yeah, we're yeah, lucky. Like there. Jock Vaughn is so lucky that we were able to have Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving on our team because if that did never happened, he would have never gotten a contract. I, there's no doubt in my mind that if we kept Katie and Kyrie, we still would have been a top team in, in the East, especially the way it is now. Should have just paid Kyrie. Look, really. look, at, look at the East <laughs> now. It's just it's just the Bucks, the Celtics, the, maybe the Sixers, and then it's just everybody else. We would have been easily there. We would have been easily there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you're joining us right now, just hit that like button. Jacques Vaughn got fired. We just got an update from Shams. Shams said that Kevin Ali has emerged as the leader to be the Brooklyn Nets interim head coach. Sides have begun discussions. So I guess discussions are going on between Kevin Ali and... Um, but who knows? They Nets. might have a fall off. <laughs> I want to Jay up here because Jay was talking about Ronnie. He was hearing about Ronnie Burrell. If you guys don't know, he's Ronnie Burrell's on our staff. He's been the um, Long Island Nets head coach. So we've been uh, – What did they do I, last year? I think he was on the he was on the team that, that went to the chip. Would they go to the, did they go to the chip? They went to the chip, right? Remember when David Duke – remember when we were watching that, when David Duke was on the team? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he was uh, NBA G League. Was Dayron on? No, Dayron wasn't there. It was David Duke. Who else was on that team, bro? I'm, I'm losing my – But, yeah, that Long Island Nets team that went to the chip Ray was – Raekwon Gray, yeah, that's <laughs> Gray. Um, whoever was on that team, I mean, whoever, uh, when we went to the chip for the Long Island Nets, that team. We were in the conference final. You were in the conference final. Oh, it wasn't the chip? Yeah, it was like the uh, the semifinal. Like, oh, okay. So it was G League, G League semifinal or semifinal. Hey, that's as, hey, that's as best as we've ever seen the Nets get. Is the <laughs> <semifinals>. <laughs> yeah, low key. I mean, but the key is, is they got to stay in terms. Like, yeah. it really doesn't matter who it is. Thank you, Ramon. Chris Chioza was on that team. Jeez. Chris Chioza. Oh, was on that team. He went, to, he went to the Warriors just to come back with us on a G League deal. <laughs> Wait, so you mean to tell me he got a team with Chris Chioza on it? <laughs> he was there. I do remember that. I do remember that. Uh, I do man. remember that. Uh, shout out to Bella was good. Oh, Kess. Kessel was on that? No, Kessel wasn't on that team. 
No, nah, no way. Was, was no, already no, traded. We got rid, we, didn't we get rid of Kess last year? Yeah, well, I, got already, to, I got yeah. something to say. Uh, I got thing. something to say, but I can't say it. What? Oh, was it somebody? Somebody sent you a DM. Got something to say, but can't say it. Don't tell me it was who I think it was. I can't say it. I know who it was though. I know who it was because <laughs> I told you to hit him up before this. All right, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Yo, shout out to Keith. What's good, Keith? My guy Keith, Keith. is in here. Um, yeah, so if you're joining us right now, we reacted to the Jacques Vaughn news. Um, Kevin Ollie is going is emerged as the leader. Um, what do you guys think? Like, all right, so if Kevin Ollie gets hired, right? Um, do you guys think the offense and defense is going to change? I'm, I'm pretty sure the energy is going to be changed because, like, people like you watch the Nets, and sometimes this is like a little dreary attitude like guys don't want to be here don't want to play oh we just look sluggish like, yeah it looks just, sluggish it, it just think, it yeah. looks like they don't care but i think in general i think things should like i hope i hope things look differently they should look differently because he's a you know he's a different guy it's a different yeah. coach probably yeah. he probably has some different you know ideas he was just coaching you know uh who was he who was he just coaching you know with who uh, Ali, because he was he was with he was coaching like oh he was um stuff, right? he was a G League Ignite he was a UConn head coach oh was he he, UConn then he went to G League Ignite was was it overtime I thought it was I thought oh, it was like, overtime you might have right it might have been overtime yeah so overtime. he was but he was doing that the thing is it's like I'm not sure in terms of like you know how everything's gonna look offensively and defensively but right. I feel like I have a lot more faith of him like playing our young guys and just playing the people who need to play yeah. like I I think I have more confidence that Jalen Wilson will play. That you know, Cam Thomas will get his minutes, and that they'll maybe they'll probably be a bigger lease for him, just in general. Because it's like the thing is, it's like you don't have much to lose anyways. So it's yeah. just like play play the people that are giving you like you know, just play the people who need to play. You know, if, if someone isn't playing good, there's no play, there's no point in to keep continue to play him. You know, you like you know if it's a, a veteran, but like you know yeah. if Cam Thomas is you know sitting in the bed, but you know don't play. I'm not gonna get no forced, no more forced uh, DFS or Spencer minutes or Royce minutes. Now that these guys are gone, you don't. You know? All I know, all I know is that with the team that we have right now, you don't need to force Dennis Schroeder to play. You don't need to force him. Yeah. You don't yeah. need to force him. You don't. There's just no point. There's nothing you get. You don't need to force play the people. The guy. Uh, you don't need a the guys who aren't. Like, you know, the guys who are veterans, you don't yeah. need to just – you don't need to because you're not you're not fighting for anything this year. Shout out to Rashad. He said Kevin Ollie has an NCAA championship. Oren Spiegel said UConn in 2013 or something. Yeah. Oh, he has a – so he has a chip, NCAA chip. Good for him. Uh, Blitz, basically, Ollie got fired from the NCAA for providing extra stuff to his players under the table. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, so he wasn't allowed to be hired by colleges. He went to the G League. Like what do you mean stuff under the table? Like like what steroids? Was it money, money, some <laughs> part of the money. Because so now they because hey, the athletes are getting paid now. Yeah, you, you can get college. paid now in college. Things are different in college now. Things are yeah, different. That NIL college. hitting different now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Hold on, I'm I'm reading this text. <laughs> yo, this text message, yo. Oh my god. Uh, shout out to Delusional. He said we all love 2018, 2019 because they outperformed rock bottom expectations. We haven't had another roster that outperformed expectations in Brooklyn before or since. Yeah. Like, do you guys think this team could outperform our expectations? Like, can the Nets get past the first round? Or y'all think it's oh, you know what? Our expectations is not even what is it? One playoff play in win? One play and win is that our expectation? Expect wait expectations. My expectations are that we're not even going to make the play-in. Not I, gonna I don't. Make th- the play-in. I, I don't. Yeah, I, don't think, I don't think we should expect a play-in spot because we're fans of the Nets. Why would you do that? Yeah, yeah. no. Nah, <laughs> yeah. I do, I do think this this year is kind of in the can already. Yeah. Like we did kind of shoot ourselves in the foot before we even got to run. So yeah, you, you like Jack Vaughn actually being the coach going. I mean, honest. I I mean, you saw what? we shot ourselves in the foot like. This off season, because I mean, we didn't really do anything. Wait a we minute, should... what's what's the chat saying? I'm seeing nope, hell no, hell no, no, hell uh, no. What, what, what was said that there's disagreement? If we make the playoffs, or if you go on a good run, this that from now on, yeah. we, we we were because because AJ said expecting a play in win because you know he was just he was just wondering what what we were thinking, but yeah. we were like no, obviously not because we're not I, the question the question was 
could we out like you know how 28 2019 yeah, yeah yeah we're not expected to be a what a six seed oh they the can East. they can outperform our expectations well, but will they can this i, I do out? think our team has been better i do think our team is better than what we've been playing and with coaching I, i'm <laughs> I think this team is capable, and depending on which of the coach it is and if they actually get on a solid – could they make a run for the last playing spot? Hell yeah. Mm. They're only – how many games are they behind the Hawks? What, like two and a half? Two and a yeah. half. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, and nothing – and I'm not sitting there saying nothing is impossible. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying, like, we have an opportunity. I mean, if things break right. I mean, dude, we're two and a half games behind the getting in a playing spot. How could we not have a chance? Yeah, I mean, um, we don't nobody. I mean, that's the main thing. When when we find out who the coach is to get more of an idea of are we going to get more of the nope, we got to play the Nets basketball that we've been playing for the last four seasons or. I think it's like the 2018 19 team was just a whole different like like the, I don't think it's the play in that we're going to have trouble with if we go in the play in. I think it's getting out of that first round because it's like I feel like we can beat the Hawks. If we just give us one game, we might be able to beat the Hawks. Who else is in the play-in? Um, we might be able to beat one of these play-in teams if just one game. But then we get to that first round. What? This all week. Like, yeah. People are – yeah, the Hawks may be better in theory than us, but they're sucking at – like a lot of teams are su- like are not playing well. Because the plan is March Madness. Plan is like you get one game. You you could be the trash. You could have a trash year. You could really have a trash trash year. Everything could be going wrong for you. But that one game, if one player goes off, two players goes off, your team is shooting hot, and you win, you're you're on it. You you move past to, to the next. Um, you 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 move past. You advance. So it's like. That playing is not really that what scares me. It's that first round. It's like, okay, now I'm just like going to go back to my expectations. What would really be well, in our real house if, if, it, if it was like college basketball where we were just playing one game every time and you advance every single game you win? But nah, that's not how it is. Like you said, yeah. like it, I, not, I, I'm not too worried about like if we get to the plan, I think we have a shot for yeah. sure. But if we get, no. we have to win a playoff series for me to really like, you know, start to, act, you know. Has yeah. Well, I'm going to push back a little bit, and and Pete just said it. Um, I says, remember, if we're the nine or ten seed, we got to win two games to make it the first round. Mm. I'm not saying first round, but I think an outside shot, they have an opportunity to get into the plane and give themselves a chance. Like I'm not even going to entertain first round. You're not going to entertain first round. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I'm entertaining. I will entertain playing. But who do we have to beat? The Hawks or who to- else? I mean, listen, the only way we hit play in is if whoever they choose and it breaks right and clearly it was a coaching player and the guys play better. Who knows? Like, we don't – That it's hard to, 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 to really sit there and say yeah. X, Y, Z is going to happen. We got to wait till we see who this interim guy's in and we got to see how quickly the response is. We got – you know what I mean? It's like – and I think then you can really argue about it, but I, I'm – I'm, I would say right off the bat, First round, I'm not even. No, I'm not so even. So it's Hawks, Bulls, Magic, Heat, right? Because seven, eight, nine, ten, right? I think we. I, I think we have a shot for the like. Yeah, like, we have a shot to be over really the Bulls for sure. We can. We yep. can be. Yep. A, we can be. How any... the Bulls a seventh? Wait, how are the Bulls in the ninth seed? Oh wow, I didn't realize that. I thought the Bulls are not doing good. Yeah, they're that they should that that GM should be under like some shit. Yeah, and, God, and I think Zach Levine. Zach Levine had a surgery that he's kind of done for the season. Oh, you know he's not playing the rest of the year. Yeah, that's why yeah, he traded. Yeah, they're gonna uh, free fall, so we can move up yeah. in the standings a little bit. Maybe the Hawks, they're gonna give us the best run, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely move up in the standings. Yeah, uh, shout out to Delusion. He said getting into the plan is not an achievement. <laughs> shout out to uh, Usable Fiber. The idea that a new coach is gonna improve this roster and win rate is a pipe dream. Yep, mm-hmm. that's probably you, you might not be right. About, you might be wrong about that, bro. I mean, roster's still hey. flawed to hell. The roster is still flawed. I mean, like the old one decided to prioritize a point guard with back issues. Can you at least give us a little hope? Can a coach, like, you know, one I, little move can, you know? Just make the rest of the season somewhat enjoyable for fans. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. At but this hey, stage I, of the game, just make I'm it not... competent, fun basketball. Like, let the guys look like they're having fun. Like, yeah. make it look good. Like, just try to try to. I'm not going to say a coach because a coach does change a lot. And coaching is big in the playoffs. <laughs> and we watched Ime. I know Ime Udoka became the Houston Rockets coach. They did. The GM did make moves. They added those two pieces. What, what was it? They added a few. But that's still the same roster 
that was terrible. You, you saw the Houston Rockets last year. They were terrible. And now they're a lot better than they was because of Ime. So I'm not saying what we're going to hire is Ime, but I'm saying coaches do make a slight difference. You know, it's not like it's, they don't do nothing. It could it could give you a few more wins if you have a really, 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 really good coach. Um, shout out to Peoples Hernandez in here. What's good? Uh, Raheem said, we have a very talented team. We should be doing better. Uh, do you guys think we'll make trades this offseason? That's a good question. What do y'all think about that? I don't know. I'd, I'd say yes. Mm -hmm. Just off the fact any news coming out of the front office hasn't indicated they care about rebuilding or trading for picks. So until shown otherwise, I'm going in with the impression that they're going to try and trade for, you know, the D Mitch or whatever. Or D Mitch is a free agent this year, right? Yeah. No, okay. no. He's uh he has to, basically what he has to do is deny his player option. If he denies because they're gonna offer him an extension. If he takes the extension, he's got more years. But if he denies it, then I think he has what one more year or two more years. One of that. Right, right. Uh shout out to Oren. He said the Nets fired this is a good point. The Nets fired Byron Scott in 2003 and won 10 straight with their interim coach. Mmm. <laughs> That's not, that's not a bad point right there, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, things could change. You never know. I'm not saying we have the best roster, but things could change. That's all I can say. Things could really change. Um, maybe a few more wins. And all we need, all we need is we don't need no 10 games, 10 win streak. We just need a few more wins to get into the playoffs. I feel like I feel like with this team, though, I feel like if like you know, coach properly, I feel like we have this this team has potential. Like we we yeah. do have potential. We have a lot of solid. We have a really we have a lot of solid players. We really do. It's yeah. just a it's just a matter of how everything looks with coaching because we know like a lot of the, a lot of the times. And it was funny that even Jock Vaughn said we're just gonna have a free for all offense. Which isn't how you win basketball games. I mean, it would make more sense if you said that with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, but we don't have those guys anymore. But like the thing is, it's like with actual like you know coaching and when teams have to adjust to you, and you're adjusting to other teams. Like we haven't. When have we adjusted to other teams? Mm, that's a good point. What if we have a coach who can actually do that with a squad that like, and who knows? Like you know, having the locker room is a big thing. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe Ali will be able to you know have the locker room and have everyone. You know, behind him, because if everyone is, you know, playing with with, you know, with something to prove and everyone had and, and we're not looking sluggish. I mean, a lot of a lot of, you know, a lot of it is effort. A lot of it is effort. Um, Shout out to usable. Didn't the Nets get hot last year once? Shock. Yeah, they did. I mean, yeah, we had Katie and Kyrie, though. Yeah, but we had Kevin <laughs> and Kyrie. Even, so. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Jr. Leaf. This team is full of role players. No head hon shows. Uh, Rashad said, AJ, I don't know who that is. You talking about Byron Scott? He was one of our, uh, he was an old head coach basically that we had. He used to play for the Lakers. Um, we have a car with a lot of great parts, but no engine. Mm. Oh, would you consider Ben to be our Ben 10? <laughs> is Ben 10 our engine? Ben, ben is like a really bad rebuilt V6 engine. <laughs> just not. According, according to Shaw and the way they built this team, Ben is supposed yeah. to be our engine. You heard uh, um, Sham, Shams in that interview. He was like, um, the team, Vaughn created the offense around Ben Simmons. So they were, the whole coaching staff, we're expecting Ben Simmons to be there a majority of these games, and we're going to build the offense around him. So when he's in. And the guy you know. and the guy in the talk show was just laughing. Yeah. He also said something about like the players wanted more of a um, hierarchy kind of offense, but we got like a um, what kind of offense? Like a spread. Like Jock Vaughn wanted a spread. Everybody can take a shot offense, like shoot threes offense. So we'll see if if Kevin Ollie has some new offensive changes because we got to have the Ben Simmons when he's in kind of offense, and then we're gonna have the Ben Simmons when he's hurt. And he's not playing kind of offense. And That's the, you also you know. have to have the but offense of like new... what of of different zones and stuff, and how you... you know how people how how, how defenses are you know yeah. playing against you. You also have to adjust to that too. Yeah. Do you think the new coach handles like what and McCall had mentioned yesterday and stuff? Like, do you think the new coach handles that how things differently with these guys with Ben how they're using them? Because I, I mean, it's like you're telling me if the main complaint is from players, and you've heard it about like what's being run. 
I can't imagine that you're going to, I mean, and I guess this is the part of the fear is that they bring in somebody that just kind of keeps playing the same playbook. Like it's gotta be like at this stage, what would, would it hurt if a new coach came in and get, had a completely different game plan? Would it really hurt? No. <laughs> and I'd be curious to see how quickly they respond to that new game plan versus whatever JV was trying to get these guys to, to apparently they couldn't learn the whole season. Yeah. I really how is want... a free for all offense in the NBA anything in general? Like, how does that even make sense? How are you how are you running a free for all offense in the NBA? You get paid to coach millions well, of it, dollars it, yeah. in the it, highest league ever. And you're telling me you're the, you, the way you play is hey, hey, Cam Thomas, you want to shoot the ball, shoot it. Mikel, shoot it. You know what, Clax? Pull up from half. <laughs> Yeah, it's really it's, it's it some clown sense. shit, bro. There's really only a few shit. players on the Nets team that can kind of ex- can can excel in in that free for all, and it's like Cam's one of them. I'm even going to throw Lonnie Walker in there. Dude can create his own shot. He can get to the bucket. He can shoot a three. There's not a lot of people in this on this team that can thrive in that and be good, and then make it winning basketball. Yeah, but um, yeah. If you're joining us right now, hit that like button. Um. Yo, Chubbs, can you drop – somebody drop the Discord, too. Join our Discord. We're trying to get our Discord back up and popping. Uh, we've been kind of ghost, but we're going to drop the Discord link. So join our Discord. Uh, if you guys have any questions, we're about to wrap this up. But if you guys have any questions, put it in the chat. Type in at Saint for those questions. Put at Saint so we can see you in the oh, chat. Oh, yeah. Back to the at Saint. Yeah, you know we're back. That's how you know it. <laughs> <laughs> put the at Saint in the chat so we. if you guys have any, any questions for us. Um, yeah. Appreciate you guys so me, uh, much. Yeah, we're yeah. We We've been one. trying. We've been trying. It's been a crazy season. Um, it's been a hurtful season, heartbreaking season. Like, if you were a Nets content, shout out to all the Nets content creators because it's like it's so hard to create content on this team. Like, it's it's really hard. Oh, like, shout out to them. Like, no, like yeah. real, like that. That's that's absolute like dedication because I don't know how you watch. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know how like you like you're a Nets fan and you. I don't know how you. I don't know how you even watch games. Like I know we're fans and stuff, but it's like you don't. Know, how do you lose by fifty? How are you down by forty eight and you're like, you know what? I'm still gonna watch it. Yeah, it's like you losing by fifty is like you and you have to come up here and talk about that. Like it's just like. What, what are you supposed to say? Uh, we just. What are you supposed to say when you're just when you lose by fifty? It hurts so much, man. It really hurts so much, man. Um, eight seconds or less. Dan Tony off it. Yeah, whatever happened to Dan Tony? Didn't he like take a break because he was like he was uh, I think he took a break, so I don't think he's coming back. Uh, Ali should have us playing better defense. Shout out to Blitz. Shout out to uh, Pete, one hundred twenty one. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, hit the like button for us, y'all. Yeah, next content creator. Shout out to the next fan. You know he's a good content creator, man. Um, give his po- give his his page a follow subscribe all that hey and let's throw this out there because there were a few comments left on some of past videos where people were thinking we left and we're not that's no nah, dude it's called life right like the the, the the stages of what everybody on the stages in it in life is different and we all have something like going on so that's why yeah. we haven't been around but when we get the time we're doing a little more scheduling we're gonna start doing these more um there's a lot of day ones in here and so it, we, we we miss it too man it just ain't yeah. been fun like like between the shittiness of the nets and <laughs> life and then life happening the life hits you yeah yeah it makes it a lot easier to to say hey you know what i'm gonna put more attention on on my life than the nets right now yeah, yeah it's just it, <laughs> and like we've all we've been doing this for three years now and the thing is, it's like we've watched all of this unfold right in front of us and we've been streaming every day for it you know, essentially yeah. we've been, we've, we've seen it all. And the thing is, it's like, when you, when you, when we look like how we, how we look and we're, we're losing by 50, it's like, it would just make sense that, you know, we just start to, you know, do, we, we just start to, you know, it's hard to create content with the team losing and the team just being, uh, so dis- disgraceful. Like, you know, to what take more walks now, how many, know, how many times can you say, the same thing over and over and yeah over it's again. like it just becomes until it finally like today yeah. where today yeah. is the perfect example like the countless pointless conversations that were over and over and over again about jv like thank god those are over like yeah like we can hopefully move i'm sure we'll find something else as a fan base to complain 
Oh, Rashad said one prison for you guys. You haven't laughed hard enough about the idea of offense being built and solely functional around a healthy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's possible, Rashad. Yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> I, ben I, ten, I, baby. You know what I'm saying? We, we talking about that's Ben ten. I'm baby. sorry, but injuries are part of that man's game till he, <laughs> till he's done. Ben, ben he's just 10. gone, man. There's, there's, there. I, I don't know. If, are we ever gonna see it? There's just no way. He's about to take it to the promised land, Ben. You can Tanner. tell he's affected by it because it's like this guy. This guy really does not want to sh- fucking score the ball. He really doesn't. He really does not want to score. The ball. He I, I really just think doesn't. He, I and I don't think it's. I think people are saying he doesn't want to go to the free throw line. I just think he. I think it's his back more than anything, dude. I think he just gets afraid sometimes, but I don't know, man. Because he was. I mean, you look at some of the athlete. Like the athleticism is there a little bit more. <laughs> It's just, is he going to be played enough or or to be able to consider um, like it's like, it's like, like we, it's not good to have two separate offenses like the Ben Simmons yeah, when he's in and the uh, Ben Simmons when he's out is like it doesn't make sense to have two separate no. offenses like we got to have to be a a team has to be on one accord and you're gonna have to have you know guys that step up and guys that can play their role and step up. And the biggest thing is just in with like we shouldn't. It's funny how we like really have to adjust to how Ben plays. The thing is, it's like we have to. What we have to do is just adjust to how every game we have to make adjustments on how teams play us. You know, if they if we're if they're in a zone and we can't defeat that zone, maybe you should try and switch up your offense a little. Yeah. If your defensive zone isn't working, maybe you should try and switch something up. You know, that that's just how it is as an NBA head coach in general. (laughs) <laughs> for everything if something isn't working you probably shouldn't stick to it yeah um so i don't see no questions but make sure you guys yeah hit that like button for us uh the discord is pinned at the top of the chat um follow us on twitter you see all our twitter at the bottom instagram is nets kingdom one uh shout out to cypher he's dropping articles at nets kingdom.net he should he might drop an article soon about this um but we'll see apparently i'm seeing we might have a coach soon so uh we might have some. Well, I mean, either mm-hmm. either way, we're gonna have a coach. We're gonna have a coach because they're gonna. We know yeah. what do we have a game Thursday? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have. We're gonna have a Thursday. coach soon. It's just gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna say. I can't say anything. Uh, it it'll be interesting to see uh, that debate when it when it potentially happens. Because I wonder if there are. I mean, to me, mm-hmm. logic makes sense that they're going to hopefully just assign one of these guys from the bench. Mm-hmm. Whether you want to debate like. Whether it's Ollie, whether it's the other guy, I keep forgetting his name. I don't know why. Uh, it- Ronnie, Ronnie Burrell. Ronnie Burrell, that's what it is. Um, I don't really, I don't know much about Burrell. I've at least seen enough from Kevin Ollie in college and and what I think he could do now. And a lot of people think he would be a great head coach. Um, so we'll see. I I don't know enough about Ronnie to really make it a. a so for me, default right now would be Ollie, but yeah. Does anybody know anything about the other guy, Ronnie? Oh, uh, Ronnie Burrell, and then Will I Weaver. Don't... Will Weaver is another guy, but I don't think he's gonna. I don't think Will he's Re- Yeah, Will Weaver is a. He does have pro experience, but uh it should be between Kevin and 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 Ronnie. And the the players should have a lot of input. Uh, like Sean can't do this again. You can't choose a coach. Ronnie, yeah. Let me ask you this: Is mm-hmm. Ronnie the less like if you're comparing Ollie and Ronnie, like which is uh, are we giving more credit to Ollie? Are we giving him like more experience? That's tough to say. I mean, Ronnie. I don't does, know what I'm saying I don't know much about this Ronnie cat. Ronnie it. has he has pro experience and he has G League experience, but but um, Kevin Ollie won an NCAA championship, and that's kind of like that's big as a coach. That's Already a big accomplishment as a coach. To win Ronnie it. is the man, great X's and O's guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, the th- and the thing was with like you know like AJ said like being a college head coach is that like obviously when you get into March Madness you got to be perfect you can't lose a single game yeah you lose one game you have one bad game your season's over to win a chip as an NCAA you got to give credit to that because there's been coaches that have done um I think Billy Don am I wrong am I wrong Billy Donovan right he he got into the NBA just because of how great he was in, in NCAA so it's like you got to look into that factor like. There's been a lot of great college coaches that come into the NBA. Well, I guess the question is then is better this. Mm -hmm. Which coach would be better for a throw-in and has more of a potential? Like, I wonder – 
I'm just gonna roll with Ronnie. I'm not Ronnie, but uh, like Ollie. Yeah, my boat. My boat is Kevin. What I've seen from the Nets and how they've responded to him, especially national TV after, and I'm gonna keep going back to that game. There was something special about that game, and we all saw it. We were watching it, and then everybody was like shouting out Kevin Ollie, all the players. There was something there. Uh, If I'm reading tea leaves, maybe. He may maybe he's more in tune with what JV was doing. He knows how to transfer. I'm just curious. Like my question then is, which one is a better coach to really like impact the rest of this season right now? And then you reset in the off season because that's what we all want. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm a, I'm I'm curious of which one has more of effect on the players right now. But I, I'm not looking at either of these guys as being our future head coach at all. No, and it's so hard to tell with these guys because it's not like it's not like with like you know it's it's not like hiring you know a coach who's like been in the league for a while, or you know who has quite a bit of pro experience and like you kind of have seen how it, things have played out. Both of these guys like don't you know it's not like any of these guys have been like you know head coaches NBA head coaches for a long you know period of time. So it's hard. It's hard to really say every. But the, the good the good thing is, is that we're not playing for a championship this year. You can see what's up. You can you can, exp, you know, you can you can experiment. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, All again, right. we, yeah. we maintained we're, we're uh, the key thing here, just like player player flexibility, pick flexibility, whatever going into the offseason. You you need to maintain the same thing um, with. The coaching, you need to maintain your flexibility. Do not lock yourself in going into the off season. Do not make another dumb decision. Um, shout out to Brandon. He said, at St. My concern is that the front office seems the interim coach will win a few games in a row or maybe get into the playoffs and suddenly we're giving. I mean, but that ha- I think uh, to me, that is the Nets have to fight and bite their, their hands and sit on their hands all they can, depending on how, um, how they respond like you can't get all giddy and be like wow look what all he's doing with this give him a five-year cut no we, you got to wait till the off season. yeah let him prove it to us you right? you yeah. can't you can't make the same mistake you made with jock vaughn no. not with not not with the way we're structured now if the nets go into the off if the nets somehow sign a co- a, a coach right now to more than one season or just you know anything past doing the inter like if they do like Nah, that's it. Like I'm done. Like there's no point in even discussing anymore. Like yeah. And shout out to Oren too. He said next move predicted prediction. I I mean the only thing that I could throw out there would be the only other move you could make this season to make it complete would to be let go of Sean Morris before the season's over. But I I highly doubt that. And they probably wait till the uh, end. They'll wait there's till nothing the off-season. else. There's nothing else we can do. You can't trade for anybody. No, no, but but like I said, the only positive mood you had to begin with was the JV JV firing. People disagreed on that, but clearly, I mean, there is the uh, the buyout market, but I'm not sure how many do we have roster spots. Yeah, I don't. Th- but that's the thing: is there anybody really? Wait, so is there a young guy though that maybe is? A- I, I don't see you, anybody in the buyout market could, that. Doesn't I think we have a two way spot available. I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess you could. I, I guess you can say what you could check in on Killian Hayes and book book night. I mean, you could. I, I don't I'm think just, it hurts for a two-way spot. I don't think it hurts. I mean, they have as far as like play, like they don't really like outside of like maybe playing the two-way game and God forbid they let go of somebody and they pick somebody up in the but I doubt it. Um, I think two ways at most of what they'll do there. But the outside of this, this was your play. This is the only thing that you could do before the season's over that would really potentially give the chance to light a fire under the team. Let's see what they choose next. Um, I would be shocked if Sean Marks was fired before the season, but then again, nobody thought JV was going to get fired over these eight days, except a couple of us, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. And who, yeah. And who would have thought we would have hired Jock Vaughn so early? Like actually like give him that, give him, give him a contract. Yeah. Yeah. They gave him a contract. They didn't even wait to see it out. Like that's, that's actually nuts. Yeah. No, I, I thought we have like a roster spot. Not we have a two way, but I thought we have like a roster spot. No. I don't, I don't. I might be wrong. You also, you honestly, also have to actually make sure that the people in the buyout market want to play for you. Take yeah. sign wherever. And ever since that fifty point loss, bro. To be honest with you, I have completely just checked out. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. of like, what can we do to add and do that? Oh, like yeah, that? like, yeah. like you just. I mean, you got to think about it. For me, they just made like I'm good this season. I really don't care what happens the rest of the season. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. 
right, yeah. All right, y'all. Um, yeah, make sure you guys hit us up on uh, Twitter. Why couldn't Jay pull up? Did he not get the, the I don't link? Know. Did he answer your tweet? I, I, I mean, I was answering. Oh, I sent him a DM. He didn't respond. Did you guys send him a DM? Uh, Rage and Jay? Uh, yeah, I sent it to him. So. He must be busy. He He's might be busy doing right now, the yeah. dad kid thing. Sliding into uh, this guy, Brandon. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. That's yo, another. We, that's another one we gotta fire. Yeah, we'll be back. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Yo, hit that like button. If support us, man. If you want to like more content, we need more likes and engagement. Appreciate you guys. Follow us. Subscribe. We'll be back. Hey, don't, don't, don't leave.